On today's episode of Watch Jericho, we are here with my 2002 Saab 95 Arrow. And we're going to try to answer the question, are LED fog lights worth it? What is going on guys? I am Watch Jergo, and like I said, I'm here with my 2002 Saab 95 Arrow. And we're going to solve a couple of problems that it has today. And the first one is... We're going to test out these Sylvania LED fog lights and we're going to put one of these LEDs in uh, one of the housings and we're going to compare it to a halogen, a factory halogen bulb in the other housing. And one of the other issues is one of the LED fog light housings is completely missing or fog light housings that is. It was never there when I bought the car. So I've heard from the old owner that uh, they smoked like a raccoon or something. It might've been a possum or something like that, but a small animal took the fog light housing all the way out of the Saab and it just disappeared in the blink of an eye. So we have a replacement here today. We're gonna install that replacement and uh, then we'll move on to this. So these are, like I said, the Sylvania LED fog lights. These are the H1s, which is the factory bulb for the Saab 9.5 and i've never installed led fog lights in any of my cars before and the reason is i'm always concerned about quality and you guys know the sylvania name is legit and i do run their uh, tag lights the zevo bulbs i put those in everything i can because i've found that they outlast every other small bulb i've tried before you know like 100 to 1. i basically i've never had one fail and the cheap ones i've had a million of them fail so now that they're making fog lights uh, i'm excited to try these out so moving into some bigger bulbs here with some real output. Let's take a look at these real quick. These are 6,000 Kelvin cool white light, uh, direct install replacement, they should drop in. And these have an active cooling fan, turbo cooled at 10,000 RPM to maximize LED life. And that is a big uh, differentiator from the cheaper bulbs. Cheaper bulbs usually don't manage the heat well, and the heat is always what kills your LED bulb. So hopefully uh, these hold up for a long time. And Sylvania is standing behind that too. Uh, they actually threw a five year warranty on these bulbs and uh, aviation grade aluminum body here. So maximizes heat dissipation to keep LEDs cool. Another bonus of these Sylvania bulbs is you can find them everywhere. So your local parts store, O'Reilly's, wherever you wanna go shopping for these things. Uh, I know mine keeps them in stock. So that's a huge one as well. Uh, you can just run down to the store and pick them up. So let's get busy installing these. First off, we're gonna install that new fog light housing in the car, and uh, then we'll put them side by side and go, uh, go drive around, check it out, and see what the light output looks like compared to the old school halogen. So here's what the Saab 9.5 is looking like right now. This is our starting point. Um, we have that fog light over there that's actually there, and that one is completely missing. Uh, the big fat button beside the lights. And when you turn them on, there you go. So. Uh, there's light coming out of that fog light, but I don't think it's doing us any favors. You can barely see it on the wall over there. Uh, of course the lights are on in here, but that's not much light output. So the old fog light that was in here is completely broken and missing, but all the plastic's still there and the bolts are still there. So that's a huge bonus. There we go. It's all coming right apart. And uh, we'll just drop in the new housing. Hopefully that just takes a second. And we're home free. Here we have our new, uh, actually a very well used OEM fog light housing. So we're gonna go ahead and install that and we'll install our LED into that. It should just drop right in there and twist in. So hopefully it's just a super easy install here as well. I think, I think that's it. <laughs> How's it look, better? Oh, much better. Looks like a complete car now. Okay, so three bolts, tighten these down and we'll start installing our new lights. This is the most fun job I've done on this Saab yet. Everything else takes forever. Even better, the uh, fog light helps hold the bumper together. Okay, let's open up our new lights. All right, a fresh box of LED goodness here. Let's get these open. Wow, okay. That thing was still half stuck. So I, like I said, have never put LED fog lights in any of my cars before because, uh, well, I just have always been worried about quality, but now we have these from Sylvania, which will be quality, I'm sure. Uh, get rid of that box. It comes with zip ties to tie up your driver modules because you got to find a place to put those. Some instructions here. Oh, fancy. 
All right, so here is our LED bulb. Oh, dropping stuff on accident this time. And it's got the driver module here. There's our 12 volt in, and here is our H1 LED. We've got the fan right there. There's our 10,000 RPM fan, and it looks like we've got three little LEDs on each side of this H1 bulb, which is pretty cool, and a whole bunch of metal here to help get the heat out. So uh, let's figure out how we're gonna install this. We'll go ahead and throw one in, and where we're gonna tie up the driver module. So the Saab actually uses a little adapter. It's not quite a standard H1 socket. So I built this, and we're going to fill that with RTV so it's nice and sealed up, and that will allow me to actually use the Sylvania H1 in this housing here. So we've got that mounted. I'm gonna put the whole fog light assembly back in. It was just easier to do this out of the car. And uh, then we're gonna actually compare these side by side. I think it's gonna be a great comparison. So uh, give me a couple seconds to shoot this thing back into the car. Well, I don't have a light meter, but we are gonna turn the lights off in here and take a look at the difference. That is like, you cannot look into this to save your life. It's, it's very bright. And this is a kind of a normal looking halogen there. These lights are contending with 1.5 million lumens above us. So uh, let's shut these lights off and see what it looks like. We need to shine this thing at, a, at one of the white walls to really see the difference here. But man, it's definitely way bright. Well, all it's left to do now is point the front end somewhere or take it for a drive. We just took a quick picture of those lights side by side with the iPhone and it is incredible how much brighter that LED is. So uh, I'll throw that on screen right now so you can see it. Now let's get this thing outside. We're gonna point it at the garage door so we can see it uh, at night and in a kind of real space. There you have it, the fog light shining on a dark white wall. Uh, you can see the old halogen one over there and then the LED one that like covers end to end all the way out there. Uh, way brighter and somehow more diffusion. It almost looks wider. So that's pretty epic optics for an LED. Back in the day, they didn't have the pattern to do this. They wouldn't light up the whole housing and this one seems to be doing a great job. So uh, I'm definitely gonna run these. Let's go get the other one put in. Oh, wow, that is so, the headlights are not on on this car. <laughs> it's the fog lights and I don't need the headlights. In fact, it almost makes no difference. That's the headlights. Headlight off, headlights on. So if you're doing this swap on your car, you might have to swap an end around or two. Obviously, all I'm doing here is going from the uh, male to a female spade connector to make it work with my adapter that the Saab uses. But other than that, straightforward install. Um, and obviously, the longevity should be much, much longer with an LED. So uh, it might take you a, a few extra seconds to swap these things over, but in the long run, I think it's totally worth it. And uh, I mean, I've always used LEDs in everything else. Uh, this will just be my first time running it in a fog light housing. So we're gonna crimp on my new connector and I will be good to go. And uh, obviously this just takes a couple of seconds, so no big deal to add this into the install. Now I can plug it straight into the adapter the Saab uses and we are home free for our install. So this is the Saab socket that I'm dealing with here and it uses these tiny, tiny little pins in that weatherproof connector. Um, the Sylvania LEDs have a, a normal size spade connector that will go in most headlight sockets and uh, obviously it's kind of vehicle specific. So that's how I got this knocked out. Uh, yours might plug right in and you might have to butt crimp them in or you know whatever your favorite method of attaching these things is. But the coolest way what I should have done is just cut the wires off and put new weather packs on each end so they were the same connector and then problem solved. Uh, it would also make it even more serviceable and weather packs are very easy to install, but obviously not what your average consumer is doing. So I did it the normal way. Now, let's see what this looks like with both. And I think we're good. Let's let this thing down and test it out. Uh, the kit even comes with zip ties so you can tie up the uh, LED driver there and everything like that. So um, they do include basically everything you need. There you go, that is LED fog lights in a Saab 95 Aero, and really the process is the same for about any car you work on. I know some people wanted to see me do the headlights too, but the headlights on this are old school HIDs. They've got like D1Ss in them or something like that. It's not a straightforward changeover for those headlights. So uh, this one being an arrow, I'm gonna keep the factory HIDs up top and the LEDs down low. And the best part is they match. They look really cool together. I should have better visibility. It should be safer. And honestly, I'm, I'm sure it will last way longer than an old school halogen bulb. Huge thank you to Sylvania for sending over these LED fog lights for me to try out. Obviously, I'll drive with them for a bit and uh, let you guys know how it goes. I'm sure they'll be fine. I do use the Zevo LEDs in 
all of my tag lights and stuff like that because I love the way those look too and those have never failed me. So that is it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to shop watchjrgo.com for cool shirts just like this and please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do and I will talk to you next time. Man, car's really coming together. I think our LED versus halogen test was a success and uh, it's the next morning. So now I get to go drive the car around for a little bit and uh, just enjoy the sobness of it. So we're making good progress, but we rolled the window down and now I think we found our next project on this car. Uh, as soon as it went down, it wouldn't roll back up straight. So one of the rollers must have become uh, dislodged or something like that. There's a few rollers that support the cable system for these. I guess we get to tear the door panel off and uh, try to get that all sorted out. Other than that, just doing sob things. This thing's so quick. I know a lot of people have really wanted me to take the tent off of this thing, and since we're gonna go through uh, this window, I guess the tent's coming off. So uh, this should look pretty cool once we get the steamer in here and start taking this apart. This, uh, the tent's actually separated in here, coming off in layers. Anyway, it'll look a lot better without it. And you'll be able to see at night because LED fog lights and HID headlights.